Hey plant gang, I'm standing next to common boxwood right now. Uh, the cultivar I'm standing next to is called D-Runk and it's kind of an upright columnar cultivar. But we're gonna see a couple different common boxwoods today. Buxus simprovirens, the common box. This plant is a staple in particular of formal gardening, European gardening. Uh, Buxus simprovirens is actually native to Southern Europe, down, kind of down into Northern Africa. Uh, but this is a plant that is a staple, in particular, of formal gardens and then also shade gardens. Uh, it can be used in sun uh, in, in the right situations, but uh, it's a plant that you need to know because it really is a staple of gardening really all over the planet because it's, it's a tough plant. Uh, it's encountering some uh, disease and insect problems right now uh, as, as I do this video that we hopefully can overcome. Uh, but common boxwood, evergreen plant, a lot of different cultivars of various sizes and growth habits, and so we want to explore that today. As we look at different cultivars and habits of boxwood that are available on the market, uh, maybe this is more of what people think of, this rounded shrub, and really the straight species of common boxwood is actually more of a rounded shrub. Uh, and so you can see uh, this plant, its growth habit, uh, and it it's almost has a formal nature uh, without being pruned. And this plant has been uh, unpruned. It's got a, a good kind of dense growth habit. Again, broadly to evergreen, uh, common boxwood, Buxus simprovirens. So again, Buxus simprovirens. Sometimes it's called common boxwood and sometimes you'll even hear it just be called common box. This is a broadleaf evergreen uh, from native from southeastern Europe all the way again through northern Africa, hardy from zones five through eight, but I'm gonna tell you, it will need extra protection in zone five. Uh, depending on the cultivar, you can see boxwood anywhere from five to 15 foot high, five to 15 foot wide. It really is cultivar dependent. If, you're, uh, if you get a more upright cultivar, it could be taller and narrower, and so you really do need to pay attention to the cultivar uh, that you're purchasing. It is tolerant of rabbit and deer, and so uh, if you've got a lot of deer pressure, a lot of times boxwood uh, might be one of your go-to plants. Now I mentioned that a disease was impacting boxwood right now, and that's called boxwood blight. It's actually a fungal pathogen that's quite widespread. Uh, in fact, it's actually uh, caused nurseries to not let outside visitors come in, wholesale nurseries. Uh, not let outside visitors come in for fear that they might bring boxwood blight into their nursery. And so uh, it is a big deal and something that you need to be looking out for in the landscape. Here's a landscape tip. Be mindful not to prune too early in the spring or too late in the summer. New growth is very susceptible to frost damage.